Imagine the room full of people, all of them are different and unique, but there's one or few of them who are always in the center of attention. They often get so many compliments from other people and other people absolutely love being around them. These people may look just like the rest of the crowd, but their energy is speaking before them. And that's because they are so magnetic to others. Hello, my beautiful people, my name is Anne, and in today's video I want to share with you some of my rules on how to become a really magnetic person. It comes from my personal experience, also learning from different self-growth books and podcasts, also speaking to different people, and also working on myself. So I want to share with you eight of my rules. Five of them are all about spiritual and mindset aspects, and the other three are all about physical. So let's get started. Number one is not complaining and not sharing your like that energy with others. For example, if you're having a bad day and you're in a bad mood and you want everyone now to have your bad mood. No, no, no. Please stop. Please don't be that kind of person who only complains about everything, even if everything's really good. The same thing is with hanging out with someone who shared this bad energy. So I used to have this problem where I just would go for a coffee with someone just because I was bored at home and I ended up being a interviewer with a person who didn't really care about me and didn't really listen to me. So I realized that it is better to cut off these people out of your life rather than going out with them just because you are bored or you don't have anyone to go out with. Believe me, it is much more better to sit at home alone rather than sharing your beautiful energy with people who do not deserve that. Number two is focusing on yourself prioritizing yourself and always choosing yourself. I know this may sound a bit more selfish, but when you're like overbooked, when someone asks you out, but you're like not in the energy for that, please don't do that because you will end up just being angry at yourself that you went for a walk, you went for a party and you didn't have the energy that night for that. And honestly, no one gets any benefits from it. The other thing is about toxic relationships and friendships in your life. So if you prioritize your friend just because you've been friends for like 10 years, but it is toxic and you're not choosing yourself, you may end up in this toxic relationship or friendship for 10 years more and just wasting your time, your energy on those people. I had this situation recently where a guy texted me when it was 11 p.m. asking me to go out and he didn't really care about how I would go there when it was late at night and in my lifestyle it is not normal. I just felt like I was just an option and he was not that interested in me, so I chose myself. The next time he texted me the same thing, I just ignored him and delayed the chat. End of the story. Number three is something that I really enjoy and love doing. It is really improving my feminine energy and it is romanticizing your routines and your lifestyle in general. It is all about not being in a hurry and taking your time to take care of yourself, to take the bath, to bake something for yourself, to go on a date just on your own, to spend some time just on your own. For example, I really enjoy to turn on some shade songs and just to do all of my skincare. I I really feel this shift of energy and for example yesterday I went to the park and I bought like the cheapest canvas and <laughs> I created something like this it says nothing changes if nothing changes this is my favorite quote right now and so just admiring the beautiful sunset while sitting on the grass and painting was so healing and so priceless to me and maybe I will remember this experience even more than if I would go with someone else I do not mean that you don't have to go out with your friends obviously you have to but try to do the things which you normally do with someone else just on your own believe me it is really 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 important. Some of my ideas would probably be go to the cinema, go to the park and paint, also go shopping maybe. I do that on my own too often. Also I really want to try solo trips. Like it is a bit scary but exciting at the same time and I feel like you can really feel the vibe and the culture even more when you're on your solo trips. Number four is never ever putting down other people, their feelings, their hobbies, their interests. 
This is all not queen behavior when you try to put someone down who just started a day or block, for example, or is dressing in some way which you find strange. In order to make feel better by yourself, you don't have to put anyone else down and make them feel worse. I feel that if you want to become a confident person, you don't have to rely on other people. You just have to be focused on yourself and work on yourself. Always be the one who really supports their friends, who says all of these true kind words at their every beginnings. Make these people feel seen and valuable. Number five is be a good listener. It is such a rare gift to have a friend who actually listens to you, who asks you questions. As I said earlier, I used to have these friends where I just was a interviewer and I was listening while I wasn't getting any of those questions back and I felt like I wasn't really interesting enough for those people, that's why I let them go. So really be a good listener, ask people about their day, their mood, their interests, share your opinions with them and also less gossiping. I know that gossips are like everywhere and it is impossible to not have them in your life but if you have those people where you're just only talking about others and you're not sharing your like own interests and your whole like conversation and dialogue consists of talking about others in this toxic way bye bye <laughs> all right so now we are moving on to the physical appearance aspects which will make you more magnetic first of all is creating your own style and not relying only on trends because there are so many course aesthetics and styles everywhere and they are changing so quickly it is more about the way you feel in different clothes and in which clothes you feel the most confident so for example if you struggle with finding your style you can try this thing like dressing as your rising sign so for example i am libra rising and libra rising is all about being so elegant classy calm palette color and I realized that it is so real. I didn't believe it in the first place, but now I really think that it is true. You can search on TikTok how to dress as your rising sign and actually it's really interesting. The next thing is learning your makeup and exploring your like best features. I realized that my favorite makeup is all about being natural. I used to do this makeup looks where I looked older and just like tired. You can watch different Vogue Diaries videos, for example, as some inspiration. Okay, loves, the last thing on my list is investing in good quality. And it is all about makeup, clothes, perfumes, whatever. I feel like that it is much more better to save some money and invest in one good makeup product rather than buying like different cheap ones. It is all about how it makes you feel. And I know that not everyone can afford, including me, Chanel or Dior makeup, but I would rather save some money for that. And I would be so happy and I would feel that it is Chanel foundation on my face automatically would make me feel better. I don't want to sound wrong, but it is just my own opinion that investing in good quality is really really important the thing with wardrobe i've always been a huge fan of thrifting but now when i go thrifting i only buy those clothes which don't have any damages and which look new okay that's it thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you like this kind of content it is really something fresh and new on this channel if you like this type of videos where i'm just talking to you please let me know and i will make of them and thank you so much for 1k on my channel it actually means so much to me and i cannot wait to see you soon guys bye